What's going on in here? Oh. And what is up guys, Technicals here. Kind of a nothing burger video. I'm doing like a larger video. I'm like cleaning up the farm, just doing some maintenance and kind of stuff. I'm converting though my bit, my good ASICs to the AC Infinity type of fan setup. So like this one, it's got the AC Infinity S8 fan. You're unfamiliar. I sell the adapter on my Etsy. I like made my own. It's similar to the fruition design ones. Uh, but until all the parts come in, that that's like that video. But the purpose of this one is my S19J Pros, which I said before, I'm kind of like, they're in like hospice mode right now. Like they're just, they're not profitable. Um, I got one on here. And so I was like, well, you know, I'll put one of those fans on it, but it doesn't make sense to do that if it's not gonna be profitable ever again. So I have this silencer on it. I sell this on my Etsy as well. It's, uh, it uses the same uh, polyurethane based foam that captures like those high frequency sounds. It doesn't work as good as the an AC Infinity fan, but it does take it down quite a bit. It makes the sound less un, you know, unsettling like the stock fan. But again, the purpose of this video is to see if I can make these profitable using brains. All right, so I'm over here on Mine the ASIC on their calculator. If you're unfamiliar, it's a, ASIC, it's a price tracking, profitability tracking website for ASIC specifically. But I do like it because they have a calculator on here to where I can plop in my info. So the S19J Pro we were just looking at, I brought it up, it's on brains. I didn't take down the information. I didn't record it before I changed it. But anyway, I did write it down in my spreadsheet. So right now, Bitcoin's price just under 60K. My electricity rate's about seven and a half cents per kilowatt hour. My pool charge is 4% because I'm on FPPS on F2 pool. Might be changing that up here in the very near future. Um, my hash rate, I did dial it down uh, towards the end of summer just to like bring the noise level down and you know like heat concerns. Uh, but I'm running 93 terahash at 2,467 watts. And so I'm not putting in an equipment price. I'm just going to, I'm considering it ROI because I don't subscribe to ROI theory. Obviously, it's not profitable at that rate, even with that increased efficiency, because that brings me to, I think, um, yeah, so that's uh, 26.32 watts per terahash. So it's it's good efficiency for an S19J Pro. It's just it's just not enough. Uh, it's an old device. That means I'm raking in uh, about 4064 Bitcoin per day, even at my electricity rate at seven and a half cents, still losing out about 61 cents per day. So let's head over into Brains and see if we can tweak it a little bit. I do really like Brains. I like the dashboard. I like the, the readout and reporting. I'd like it if they had... Uh, you know, it's, it's sort of a, a better aggregation type system instead of just running the toolbox, but I do like it nonetheless. So I'm just running the auto tuner. Uh, the minimum uh, power that I can send to this thing is 1700 watts. So I'm going to just go on power target and see how a good of performance I can get. Um, and then I might just run, I might try it a couple different ways, but I'm going to try this first just to see what my baseline is. So I'm going to go in there, save and apply and see what I come up with, but I already saved and applied it. I fooled you. I fooled you all. I've been running it for hours now. So I'm just going to go right back over into the dashboard. Uh, currently getting 70 tera hash at, uh, about 1650 watts. So that brings me to 23.8 watts per tera hash. Let's head back over into our calculator and plop that new information in. Electricity rate's the same, pool fee's the same. I already forgot what I was getting. So let's say I'm getting, I'm gonna say 70 terahash. I'm gonna fudge it just a little bit. And my power is, let's say 1658. Calculate it. Still not profitable, not profitable to the tune of 10 cents. So that's really close. If you take a look here, the shutdown price is uh, right at $62,000 Bitcoin. So we were just there. We're pretty close to that. But again, that's just paying for the electricity. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not doing this just to support the Bitcoin network for free. I'm doing this for profit, obviously. So again, here comes in the speculation. What do I think Bitcoin's going to go to? Obviously, I think Bitcoin's going to stick around. Uh, and, you know, b based on like the prevailing sentiment, 
you know, there's going to be a bull run here soon. And then the math would, I'd have to kind of plot out that math. Right, so just take an example here. I put in a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, which I think most people think reasonably is, you know, around the, within the next 18 months, probably. Uh, so if I continue to mine at a loss, that's three bucks per month that I lose. Uh, so if we get to a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin and assuming I sell out everything that I mined that I was mining at a loss, uh, that brings me to a buck 84 again running at this lower power mode if if things start to flip and bitcoin starts going through the roof it would probably make sense as soon as it becomes profitable on the way up to up the power rate and uh, get more yield uh, so you know there's a uh, some gamesmanship in there and whether or not you know just well you know do more now but right now it's you know kind of uncertain and kind of right rather just run it in a lower power mode but at a buck 84 in profit per day uh with a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin that means i mine for two days and that sort of uh wipes away that loss that i incurred mining for a month uh as a, a at the price right now so you know, that's, uh, you know, there's no clear answer here, but I think reasonably we'll see $100,000 Bitcoin. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll dial these down to low power mode. I won't need to put a sign, you know, any sort of significant silence or sort of thing on them. Cooler temperatures are coming too. So I might even be able to raise that power rate up and get a better yield um, since the miner is going to be breathing in those cold temperatures ongoing. And then, you know, when Bitcoin appreciates in price and I finally do have, you know, I, I decide to take some profits off these mining proceeds, um, you know, tax time's coming up. So there'll, there'll be a big question mark there towards the end of December as to whether or not to sell mining proceeds or hang on to them and, you know, incur the, the capital gains or whatever. Um, all that remains to be seen, but as of right now, I'm thinking I'm going to dial down my S19J Pros to that 1700 watt target. Um, you know, eat the loss of 10 cents. It's fine. I've got cheap power. I can afford to do that. I understand most people don't. So if we take in, you know, most people saying they have an average power rate now of like 12 cents. So if you were running a 12 cent power, even with a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, your profit's five cents. So, you know, if you're my... You know, if you're mining $59,000 Bitcoin right now with 12 cent power, you know, you're losing two bucks a day. And so you, when you get to that $100,000 Bitcoin, oof, you know, it probably is just not going to happen um, if your power rate is that high, unless, you know, well, let's say $150,000 Bitcoin. Uh, so yeah, $150,000 Bitcoin, you're getting 246. So it makes sense. Uh, well, not really, because it's just, it's just not hard enough. Uh, you, you, your profit is so, your profit is, well, your, your, your losses are so high in order to make up for that. You're just going to really need to go through the roof on price. So, you know, me, I'm in a fortunate situation with my low power rate. So I'm going to continue to operate at that that low power mode, that super as ultra efficient as I can possibly get it. But uh, you know, I think the kind of the writing's on the wall. The moment, the moment when and if a bull run comes, the first, the first piece of hardware I'm listing on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or any of those, lo, you know, very reasonably priced, no, no questions asked, move it out the door, no exchanges, no refunds, no go backsies, uh, are going to be those S19J Pros. So. I'd love to know what you're doing in the comments below. Are you running S19J Pros? And if so, what OS do you have them on? Are you getting better efficiency than what I'm getting at 23 and a, about 23 and a half? Um, let's, let's see what it was again. About 23 and a half uh, watts per terahash. Let me know if so in the comments below because I want to do that. Uh, be sure to like this video because it's a nice thing to do and subscribe for more content like this. I am The Technicals. See you next time.